An overwhelming majority of the Ukrainian region of Lugansk has opted for state autonomy, local election authorities have announced. The region was one of two holding referendums on self-determination, with a turnout that was, as the pictures here show, nothing short of impressive. And uh, Antje's Pornoslia has been following the voting. Let's now cross uh, live to her right now. Uh, hi there, Paula. A pretty clear result then, isn't it? It certainly is. In the last few moments, we have heard from the Central Election Commission of Lugansk. All the votes in that region have been counted. The result is 96.2% have voted in favor of self-determination. Now, the Election Commission said that they will now seek recognition from the United Nations as a sovereign state. They also said that there would be no presidential elections happening in Lugansk on the 25th of this month. We're here in Donetsk, where there's a huge crowd that has gathered in front of the local government administration building and when those results from Lugansk were announced there was a huge cheer that went up from among the crowd. We are expecting the final tally here to be announced in the next hour. There is a press conference that is being organized for three o'clock local time and we do anticipate that the final result will be very similar to what we're witnessing in Lugansk. As far as the turnout goes there were 75 percent of people in Lugansk who came to cast their ballot. Indeed, the pictures and what I myself saw traveling to a number of these polling stations showed crowds of people queuing, sometimes for hours. Those queues went all the way down the streets. They curled, they crawled around corners. People really saying that this was an opportunity for them to have their voices heard <coughs> about something that is very close to their hearts. <coughs> All we want is to declare our right to self-determination. We will only let the world know that we want change. We just want to be heard and to be able to determine our region's future. Now, the former Ukrainian president, Viktor Yanukovych, explains why people voted the way they did. A large majority of citizens in the Donetsk region took part in the referendum and voted for a different form of state because they've reached the end of their patience. We've passed the point of no return. Anger, fear and desperation are all around, accompanied by delinquency and fascism. Kyiv must immediately withdraw mercenary troops out of the southeast of Ukraine. Now, this referendum comes against the backdrop of a military operation that the Kiev government has launched for the past few weeks here in the south and east of Ukraine. And because of the mounting civilian cost and because of the growing number of people who've been injured and killed, that has been part of the motivation that people tell us as to why they went to the streets in such huge numbers. This certainly is a remarkable turnout. The reaction from the Kiev government is that this election is a farce and it says it will not recognize the results. Results. Artie's Paula Slea live from the region. Paula, thank you very much indeed for that.